Bienvenidas las super mamás. Super mamás. This is Paulina. And this is Bricia. And we're super excited because this week on our podcast, we have our first guest ever. I know, I'm so excited. Uh, we have one of my best friends ever, Pedro Rodriguez, coming to our studio today. Man, I love this girl so much. Um, she's going to share with us how she manages to have a full-time job as a radio producer, like run two companies, have a toddler, and now she's pregnant. Like, I don't know how she manages to do all of that and still be awesome. <laughs> I don't even know how she does that either. But you know what? It's super inspiring. It is. And I hope that all of our listeners out there are inspired just as we are. I know. And know that you too have what it takes to be a super mama. Okay? Lista? Here we go. <laughs> Patty, thank you for coming. So we're kind of nervous. We are. Oh, don't I'm be. Very, very, very. We're nervous. so nervous. I'm like, oh my god, because we not only have our first guest, but we have like the best oh guest. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's and a I, lot of pressure. I know. I feel very pressured. Today. I feel so pressured. Well, thank you for saying those words. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be nervous. <laughs> <laughs> I, will, I will only rate you very I know, lightly. No, I'm telling you. Like I even had a nightmare about this last night. I was like, oh my god, we have professional coming. So for all of you guys listening out out there, our guest today is our radio producer yes. for one of the, if not the biggest radio show in the country. Um, and you guys probably heard her voice and already know who she is. <laughs> Very familiar voice for everybody out there. Patty Rodriguez, how are you? I'm doing really, really good. I actually get stopped a lot when I'm talking or I'm at the bank <laughs> and they're looking up at my bank account and then they hear my voice and they're like, wait. Are and you I'm, the Patty Rodriguez? And like, there's no way. Because they look at my bank account and they're like, there's no way that's you. <laughs> I'm like, no, it's me. <laughs> no, really, it's me. <laughs> I don't make that much money. <laughs> <laughs> but besides being a besides being producer, that, you're just, okay, so the show, the name of the show, as you know, is Super Mamas. Mm -hmm. And we couldn't have think, we could, we really couldn't have like, think of a, even a, like a bigger Super Mama than you oh thank you i mean <laughs> you have a five-year-old four-year-old four almost five almost mm -hmm. five you're expecting one yes <laughs> you have a full-time job i do you go in at four o'clock in the morning i do you launched your jewelry line i did yes you launched a baby book a public a baby a children's book publishing company yes there wow. you go wow mm -hmm. You started a petition to have Selena have a Mac uh, collection. A collection. Mm -hmm. No, for, for Mac to have a Selena connection. To co create collection. a collection honoring Selena Quintanilla. And it just happened. And you're here. <laughs> like uh, it was like, <laughs> and then you go find big. Time, and then you have time to come here and record a podcast. Yes, and then I'm gonna go home <laughs> and be a mother. <laughs> so here's a question I have for you. Tell me what your day is like, like, let's say on a Wednesday. Okay. From beginning to end, what time do you wake up? What time do you go to sleep? Who do you wake up next to? Wh go. Okay, so uh, my alarm goes off at 3.45 every morning. Oh, my God. <laughs> um, the first thing I do is check my email, uh, check, you know, social media, you know, any any stories that I think are relatable for our show. Because, you know, we, like, I, like you mentioned, I'm a producer for a radio show in L.A. And... Um, and then I get up, take a shower, then get my son's clothes ready because he has to go to school. I don't take him to school, but um, I like to get his clothes ready. I like to make sure that um, he has Everything his lunch matches. packed. <laughs> do, I, you, I, do you put together the lunch too? I do, but oh I, I do. I sometimes do have help, but um, for, the, for, for, for the most part, I like to see what he's going to eat. Okay. And then um, I get ready, get in the car, go um, at the station from... Uh, 5 a.m. till maybe 2.30 p.m. Wow. And then I drive over to go pick up my son from school. And then we kind of... Um, and where does he go to school? He goes to... What city? In Downey. Okay, because you live in Downey. Yeah, we so live in Downey. So from where you work to Which where is, you live, yeah. how long is your drive? Um, with no traffic in the morning, it's 25 minutes. But um, at 2.30, it takes me about uh, 40 to an hour, depending on 
the yeah. traffic. And um, I get, I pick him up. We go home. We, I, I play with him for a bit. We have uh, lunch slash dinner together. And then and I, you cook for him. Because I remember one I day you told me that you cook for your son every day. Yes. And you said, <laughs> and you said, that's because when I, he has a wife, I want him to know what women can do. Yeah, I want him. I want, you know, I want to make it tough for her when he gets <laughs> married. I, love it. I have a boy, so <laughs> that's I what I'm thinking. I want his expectations now. to be high, you know, because if mommy can do it. I'm, I'm there with you. I have oh a boy, so I told, I told, I'm <laughs> totally there with you. That's where I'm like, I feel like I'm very Latina. Where I feel, you know, like at the end of the day, I'm a very traditional Latina woman. Right. I, I like taking care of my family. I like cooking for them. I like being head of the household. I just, I, I enjoy those things. It's nothing, it's nothing bad. I don't feel, I don't feel degraded as a, as a woman. I love, I love those things. Yeah. You know, I, I like to feel, I love to feel needed. As a mm-hmm. mother, yes, of course. And um, and there's no greater joy than seeing your child eating your food. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. I, mean, yeah, I don't know. They but might, I mean, not, they might not like everything <laughs> or anything or at anything. All. You know, you have to go back and oh my god, heat up some chicken nuggets <laughs> from Costco. <Right? laughs> but you still give Isn't it to that him. Frustrating. Yes, it is. Isn't, like you put all this time cooking all these. Like oh my god, I want him to eat healthy or her. In my case, I'm too healthy. I cook and I'm like okay, you know here it is. And she's like, Man, I don't like it. I don't want it. And you're like, but you haven't even tried it. <laughs> I know. And they're like, but I know I don't like it. I no, know. you don't know. <laughs> Have you guys seen those posts? I think it's like I don't know if they're Japanese. In Japanese culture, where they, oh when they the make bento boxes, the bento boxes where for they, lunch, they create flowers out of <laughs> carrots. I tried How? that. <laughs> you did? I did too. I, did. I actually went to a Japanese store and I got like the little like the tin cookie containers. Cutters. Yeah, I got cookie cutters. I got like little uh, plastic things to divide up the lunch yeah, bag and the everything. Bento box. And then she did everything came back that day, and I was like, "What? What, what am I doing wrong? Like, what, yeah, what do I have to do for you to Pinterest eat this food?" Yeah, you go to Pinterest looking for ideas to create <laughs> you know, so art slash dishes for your kid. <laughs> art slash. It's hard. It's, really it's hard. Easy. Like you know, you're I'm not, not there, there yet. yet. I'm not there yet. No. I'm just giving him boob, and he's happy. I'm you just know, like, honey, we have the left boob today or the right boob today. <laughs> Which one do you want? Which one would you like? And he looks at the left. And I'm like, the left it is. <laughs> there you go. Well, it's so different. You know, at night, like at my nan, nine mm-hmm. month old, she eats whatever I put in front of her. Yeah, everything. She- everything, you know, I can give her broccoli with like peas and she'll eat it happily. And then I turn around with my three and a half and she's like, Ooh. no. <laughs> she, yeah. go, she makes that sound and I'm like eat it I said eat it <laughs> that's exactly what happened to my child you know I was the proudest mother when I was giving him fish fillet with kale and you know seaweed <laughs> snacks I did and too. you're like look at my son look eats. I'm like on Instagram hey, posting, look what my son's eating you know <laughs> my kid's better than yours <laughs> and now I'll be lucky if he you know he eats corn if he, you know like it's just <laughs> okay oh so you God. get home you get you f- feed your child. Mm-hmm. We kind of hang out for a little bit. Hang out with her a little bit, and then uh, I I'm lucky. I, I have my sis my little sister living with me, which you know she's seven years old. So you know having another child helps oh, because they true. get to play together. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. And you don't have to you know really as long as you keep one eye on, on them. Yeah. Y- the other eye can be used for something else. Mm-hmm. So I use my other eye for your jewelry line <laughs> for, for my jewelry line <laughs> and the book. So then you know that's where I start working on my side projects. Your side project. <laughs> small side Your project. Small side. So tell everybody. Okay, so let's just by track. Let rewind. Tell us about your jewelry and what's it called. What it, what is it about? Our listeners out there. How how did that even idea? Let's take one company at a time. Let's take your jewelry line first. <laughs> so the jewelry line. How did that come? Like, how did you like? Did you wake up one day and was like, oh, I'm gonna make jewelry and have Rihanna wear it every day? Like, that, <laughs> right. That, you, and you're like, okay. And the next day it happened because I feel like that's exactly that's what how, happened. I, that's to how you. it feels. But I think you know, it was a lot of uh, no sleeping for me. Um, it was 2013. I had this idea of. I mean, I'm gonna make it very short because we only have like a few uh, an hour here. Um, it, I'm very proud of where I come from. Uh, and, you know, I'm very proud of being a Latina American here, Mexican American in this country. I'm very proud that I'm from a small city in LA County, Linwood, Linwood, California. That's where Linwood. I'm from. That's where I was raised. And uh, I wanted a necklace that said Linwood on it in Old English because I've always been a fan of that, you know, that font, mm-hmm. that writing. And there was no way I was going to find it anywhere, so I decided to make it myself. And then I, with no intention other than just for me to wear it. 
Uh, I took it to work. Everyone at work was like, you need to get me one with my city. You know, I'm from Burbank. I'm from, El you know, I'm from here. I'm from the Valley. Can you, you know, make one for us too? And I'm like, oh, sure. And then Miley Cyrus went to work to our offices one, um, one of those days. And she saw one of my coworkers wearing one of the necklaces. And she's from the Valley. So she totally fell in love with it. And she put it on and didn't take it off. Next thing I know, she's on the cover of Rolling Stone magazine wearing the necklace. With your, ju with your necklace. With the necklace that I have given my, co given my coworker. And that's nice. when my coworker's like, Patty, you need to sell these. And I was like, oh, that's not a bad idea. I'll create a little website. <laughs> and I did it. And it just exploded from there and you know fast forward to now rihanna's wearing the neck my one of my necklaces like every single day wow and you know forever 21 just picked up some of my pieces which you can find them online and um nasty gal did as well wow after wow. sophia moroso who is the ceo of nasty gal who is her girl crush yeah girl she's our, crush. i mean the original girl boss yes you're uh, a mom boss <laughs> your mom boss, well, the girl you. boss. I'll take that. Your mom boss. Original girl boss. You know, uh, I gave I gave her a necklace. I gifted her a necklace. She fell in love with it, and she hit me up on Instagram and said, "We have to carry your your jewelry." Wow. So that's one. Okay, and then your second one. <laughs> and then uh, your second company. My my second company is called Little Libros, which uh, we publish children's board books inspired by Latin American elements. And our titles consist of the um, board book Loteria, which introduces children to first words in English and Spanish. And then we have Frida, which introduces children to uh, numbers one through ten in English and Spanish. Mm -hmm. And then we have a few more titles that we're working on for this year. But how that idea came about was in, uh, thanks to my son. When I was pregnant with my first boy four years ago, five years ago, I literally went online searching for bilingual books. And... The options are not really there. No. You'll find books that are translated yeah. from English classics, like Where the Wild Things Are, you know. The, the Hungry The Hungry Caterpillar. Caterpillar. Right, right, right. You I, know, those I have great that classics. One in Spanish. They're yes. amazing books. Dr. Seuss. I Which have Which I one. wonder, sorry, do they have those in Mexico or are those only. No, they're translated here translated from here. A, a company here in the, in, this, in the United States translates them in, in, into in, Spanish. In Spanish. And I wonder if those are popular in Mexico or they're only no, like, you know what I had to do? Actually, I used I went through the same thing with my daughter trying to look for books in Spanish. Mm -hmm. But what I had to do was actually drive to TJ and get that's a great TJ. idea. That's what I did. <laughs> you know, that's what I that's literally. And I have a bunch of books that I bought in mm -hmm. TJ published by Mexican authors, authors mm -hmm. because um, there was nothing here that I was like really interested in. You know what I mean? Like I wanted her to to retain the yeah. language. And, and it, it's hard to mm -hmm. find books like that here. No, it really is hard. There wasn't, you know, there wasn't anything I was looking for. And, and I, uh, and you said, I'm just going to make one. Well, yeah, it was, yeah, it wasn't that, it, it, that easy. You're not, I, I'm not, uh, I didn't know. I don't know much about, about the publishing, um, industry. So what the first thing I did, which was, you know, the, the natural thing to do was send out the, um, the manuscript or the idea to many publishing companies here in the country. Well, you would think that would be a natural thing. So it's crazy the way, and, and this is great for moms and moms out there listening, that you had this in you and you really wanted to do it. Yeah. And you said, okay, like you, you just kind of went out and took a first step. Mm -hmm. yes. And I think yesterday you sent me a message a couple of days ago that you said, I, physically went out there and pursued my dream and i did it yeah which means like it's like you had the idea and you have a dream but you have to physically go ahead and do something about it yeah which is exactly what you did and i and i think that's like such a cool thing that for people to hear mm. like your story is so amazing well thank you and i want people to see like whatever idea that they have it's doable like you can like you had you say you have no idea about publishing no no, no idea, idea about anything but you have a now you have a publishing company yeah i had no idea how to put a book together i mean and you didn't and so you okay another thing that i want to point out and i really love about you and you always say it and like you know i i copy your hashtag <laughs> <laughs> yes. sin miedo yeah it's you have that tattooed on i your, do have it on my tattooed on yeah my you know why because you said that you know i you, i send this person my necklace i send this person because sometimes i'm like you know or me or some uh, some other listeners are like no but they're not gonna listen to me they're not gonna look at me you know i'm this small person why would they look at me yeah why would they? and you are not scared you're like 
Why not? No, I you know am I mean? scared. I, I, it's not easy, but I think I've you, you know, were rejected. I've I've been rejected many times by you know countless of different. So, so you send the email to. Publishing. I sent the letter to many publishing companies, and they all said, "Oh, the idea sounds great and appealing. You know, marketing to Latina women sounds great, but these subjects that you're, you know, pitching to us just don't. They just seem to be all over the place." And you know, in my head, I'm thinking. You know, instead of being angry, you have to understand where they're coming from. They don't understand these subjects because they don't live them. Yes. I'm sure they've never played the Loteria game in their life. You know, and so instead of being angry, you you uh, you get you know you get the rejection, you feed off of it, and you allow that to give you more encouragement to say, you know what, I can do this myself. And honestly, I didn't think I could. I was just like, you know, the worst that can happen is not happen <laughs> true <laughs> you know that's the worst that can happen the worst that can happen is i don't have the publishing and, and i know, don't have it so no and i, and I don't want to take c- complete credit for this because um you know i my my son's godmother who also happens to be my best friend ariana ariana stein she was fundamental with this i went to her and i said look i have this idea and she has that hunger um and she's like let's do this and she has no fear now she doesn't have fear and I you know and I fed off of that too and we both did it together and if it wasn't for her we wouldn't have little libros and um and we're you know so far you know the reaction has been incredible I mean they're incredible, incredible. books I they have I have the three of them mm-hmm. um I, I don't know if the other ones all of them are published already uh we should be releasing the three new titles in the next coming weeks so oh, I nice. have the three I have the Loteria which is super cute and you also have little like um, like prints, prints mm-hmm. to put on nurseries to and, I ha- and yeah, and, complement and, and I have books. to complement them. But they're so cute, and you think about it like it's such a genius idea. I mean, to even just have like El Mundo, El Catrin, you know, like <laughs> little like in little baby ones, and it's it's like something I don't want our generation to miss out on. Like exactly. we grew up that way. Yeah, and it we grew up playing Loteria yeah. board game. And That's the, what I think when the, I when I when I when I play it to my daughter. Mm-hmm. I'm like, what other way would I teach her about El Catrin or you know how like, would you say that? Yeah, how would they remember like El how? Mundo? Like when you make you know like El Mundo or you just say it mm-hmm. that way. You know, our kids, if it wasn't for your book, how? I mean, unless you actively play with them, which the chances are, it may not happen no. anymore. <laughs> no, even like Serpiente de Escaleras. You know that oh book? My, that was, yeah, that was great. That's sort of like a. It's gonna get lost. That's already been. It's ancient and mm-hmm. it's like vintage. Mm-hmm. I don't know, but it's not something that you pull out. You know, and you're like, let's play, let's play Serpentes y Escaleras. You know, well, with just your kids. overall like board games. You know, nobody, nobody really plays board games anymore. <laughs> I don't know. I, I think all the kids now they're playing Minecraft. I know. Yeah, it's, I it's guess it's I, scary. I, need to, I need to figure out how to work. Does your kid play Minecraft or is he uh, young? Uh, no, he he managed to get into uh, figure it how out. I don't know how they do it. Work. I don't even. Know. I don't even know what it is. I don't I even. Know. Honestly, <laughs> I, you know what? It's so funny because I need, I, to get, I need to get on that because <laughs> we went this weekend with my husband and his friend, and he has a nine year old son. Mm-hmm. His friend who's like super tall, this little kid. I was like, you're nine? Oh my goodness! This is how they make nine year olds mm-hmm. nowadays. Um, and he was on his phone. And he was just like, and his dad was like, oh, he's really into Minecraft. And I was like, I keep hearing about this in Minecraft. But no, no clue what it is. No idea. He's like, oh, well, and he tried to explain it to me. And I was like, I have no idea what you just said. Like, what you just said, it made absolutely no sense to me. He's like, but I built my world. And I'm like, yeah, I'm like, is it like Tetris? <laughs> and he's like, what's Tetris? And I was like, oh, oh okay, never mind. I'm going to turn around now and talk to your dad. Because I feel old. You know what was what was a big thing when we were young? Place. Uh, Playmobil. I don't know. I what remember that is. the Playmobiles, like the the bowl cut little toys. Mm. Oh my god! Am oh, I, yeah, from you Fisher that? Price. Yeah, and you know, mm. I don't know why when I hear Minecraft, I think of them. They I, probably I, got I, the <laughs> idea from that. I mean, <laughs> I, mean I, I, I you know, because it was like a world of them. Yeah. And stuff. And I know. Yeah, my, you know my what my I mean. Boy you know which one I mean? Yeah, and I'm like, I have no idea what Minecraft is, and it's everywhere, everywhere. 
I Everyone, know. I guess everybody except us three here know about it. <laughs> or, I mean, know how it works because I know well, what we it is. Get, we we need to get we on that. We have a guest. Our next guest will be a nine-year-old boy. <laughs> what it does and how to win. So how do I, how do I, get it, how do I, can I interact with my how kid How do I go on to the next level? I, I, I'm still like, the only thing that I can play is like Super Mario. One, two, and three, and that's it. That's as far as I got. <laughs> that's it. That's, Super that's Nintendo. It. I never have, I don't have good finger coordination, so I wouldn't <laughs> be able, I, nev- I was never good with video games. We try to get the PlayStation, and then we ended up using it for like Blu-ray. Yeah, that's <laughs> what happens. <laughs> and that's it. I was just like, I, I, I'm like, I can't do this. Remember I can't. When we used to play Nintendo. We used to jump with, with like, it, we used to we, Mario used to jump, and we used to jump with the whole body moves. <laughs> like her body moves. You're like, oh, okay, come on, Mario, let's it's go. It's not like that anymore. It's not even. It's like f- 4D or I don't even know. It's just too advanced for for me. I can't even. <laughs> <laughs> it's scary. It's scary out there. Okay, well, let's take a break and when we come back. We're going to keep hearing a little bit more about Patty's incredible boss mom life. Up. So what would you what did you do this weekend? Oh my god! So I went over to a friend's house and we got a, had a little play day with the kids. You know, a couple of girlfriends got together and man, it was so hot. It was so hot this weekend so hot. and humid. Know, right? Like, where did this weather come from? But you know what's a good thing? It's what? a really good weather for Micheladas. It's the perfect. It's actually one of my, <laughs> it's why I like summer so much. It's <laughs> because we can have Micheladas at any point. It's and a be summer okay. perk. <laughs> so um. I actually took um, our michelada mix. I took a bottle over. and Did you take the big bottle or the little bottle? I actually took the big bottle because okay. it was a couple of girlfriends. And it was so easy. And, oh, my God, everybody had the best time because, you know, we, we, had, a, we had a chance to, like, watch the kids. And one of us just quickly ran to the kitchen, did the micheladas, poured the glass, put the uh, two ounces of the mix, added the beers, and came back, voila, with the micheladas. And it was That's ready. so easy. And, you know, we, we had a great time. And everybody was just like, oh, my God, where can I get it? And, you know, it was great for that day. Oh, so, oh my God. Now I want to go and make myself a michelada, which is probably what I'm going to do after this. So, <laughs> everybody, please um, go out there to visit our website, uh, www.ilovemicheladas.com. Uh, pick up a bottle and take to the next party, just like my sister did. Don't forget to use the code SUPERMAMAS at checkout and get a nice little discount from us. Enjoy the summer, guys. Salud. Have fun. Then we're back. And Patty just took a bite of a taco. So <laughs> Patty loves tacos. I do. Patty, really? Patty, every time I see your Instagram feed, if anybody is not following Patty on Instagram right now, like, where is your life? (laughs) You need Patty Rodriguez in your life. What's your What's your Instagram handle, Patty? It's Patty Rodriguez. (laughs) (laughs) Well, that's easy. So I love. I mean, I see it, and like, I'm like, dang, I wish I would have taken a picture of a taco like that. (laughs) I love tacos. I know. You know, I've been wine and wine and wine. I think your thing is like tacos, wine, and pumps, and pumps. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Don't you have a website called Tacos and Manolos? Manolos and Tacos, which I still don't know what to do with it, but I own it. How many pairs of shoes do you have? Well, I did have about 50 pairs of shoes, which I lost all in the fire that we had a year ago. Yeah, tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, let's talk about what happened to you because um, you went through a ter- terrible tragedy. Mm-hmm. Um, and I wanted to like know how you dealt with your son. Like, what did you say to him? When that happened, like, how did you, does he know what happened? Is he, is he old enough to know what happened? Um, so we had a fire, uh, May of last year and, uh, we lost everything, everything, oh, well, everything materialistic we lost. And, um, at the, at the moment, it just feels like you literally lost something. You're, you're in mourning and, um, it's, you know, everything that I have ever worked for in my life, I lost. So it took me a while to kind of like comprehend that it was only materialistic things. And I think it's normal. Yeah. And uh, with my son, you know, he lost all his toys. But it's it's but it's good to see the way a child reacts because none of that stuff matters to him. So wow. it didn't affect him. 
Wow. Really? You know, so it's good to see it in perspective where he wasn't mourning. He wasn't crying like mom was. He was just like, oh, we had a fire. But we're all here. Oh, so the good. child puts things in perspective Aww. where his mind is still not, you know, flooded with the 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 idea of loving something materialistic. Yeah. And are, you know, poisoned by that idea. And it took me, you know, a few weeks to come to terms with it and understand it that none of it matter. We're all still here. We are moving on. And there were just things. There were just things. And the replaceable things, you know, the couch is gone, but we got a new couch, <laughs> you know, and yeah, yeah I'm you, sure he you was excited. Yeah, you do lose things. You know, I lost all my baby photos, um, his photos of him when he was a baby, his videos of him when he was first walking, oh. all those things I lost. But, you know, you create new memories, yeah. you create new videos, you create new photos. And, um. And I, in that moment, instead of, like, shutting completely down, I felt like that's where I got most of all this energy. and That fueled the all fuel your The fuel that everything that I'm doing now that, you know, now I no longer care about uh, spending $600 on a pair of shoes, which back then I did. <laughs> and I thought it was nothing. Now, you know, I'm focusing on the things that matter. You know, I'd rather spend that money on a trip for me and my son to go to San Diego. You know, like. And now I'm experiences wor- that you can Ex- keep exactly you can keep rather and than I, something and I thank material. God that happened because it just changed my whole perspective like I probably only have now like three pairs of shoes including the ones I'm wearing which are <laughs> Nikes I, lo- I, lo- I mean you look stylish you're like a, a cool mom and pregnant mom you know and I'm not you know about worried about you know whether I should wear a Burberry watch today or you know uh, a Louis Vuitton purse like I lost all that it was, you know, and was it kind of cleansing for you? Kind of, it just was a total cleanse. I think, it, honestly, I to just let go. Of I those things. it was a God telling me, I think you your perspective was wrong, or the way you were going with your life was not. It's not the life that you want yourself. Like it's not the. I never, I never thought of myself as a materialistic person, but now looking back, it's like I spent a lot of money on crap that I didn't need. <laughs> that I didn't need. Oh, just things, <laughs> or just, just things, things that I, you just didn't need. We went through a similar experience in mm-hmm. our family. Not quite to the fact that it was like burned down, but mm-hmm. similar. Just cleansing and letting go of just material things that don't that matter. That don't, don't matter at all. And, you, and now you look at your son and he smiles and you're like, oh, well, at the end of the day, as long as it's just me and you, we, it doesn't matter. Like, no, no none of it matters. You know, it doesn't matter. You know, it's, it's of course, you know, one needs to look good, dress well, wear good makeup. But <laughs> wear the good end, makeup. You know, but at the end of the day, I'm just like, I don't remember the last time I bought a new top. You know, recently, it's just not my just my thinking. It's just not the way it used to be. I feel more positive. I I, I think I I want to. I just want to be a good mother. And you were such an incredible mother. Thank you. You were a super <laughs> mama. You are. So let's go back. We were talking about earlier. I know we diverged. We're like, oh my god, here. Estamos como comadres. <laughs> so you go back to home. You work on your side projects, and then what time do you put your baby to sleep? I try to put him to bed. At eight, but because of the time right now, it's still daytime. Oh, he's not. Yeah. He's pretty smart. He's like, mom. I didn't even think about that. It's not colors. nighttime yet, it's, mom. I know, right? And I'm like, I know. for me, it is. <laughs> and you know, like, because you teach them, like, okay, the the moon is up, so it's time to go to sleep. Exactly. The sun is up. The day starting. So I'm like, okay, it's time to go to bed. But mommy, the sun is up. Like, yeah. you know, why am I gonna go to sleep? And I'm like, because it's late. No, it's not. Mm-hmm. The sun's there. I can see the sun, and it's like, oh my god. So then maybe I should change my technique because if the sun is out, like she's not gonna go to sleep. I mean, it's you against the sun. The sun's it's gonna you. win. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But you know, like I mean, for me, what I've do, what I've been doing, it's like it's. I, I mean, because of the fact that we. I mean, at least me. I don't know about you, but like. When I think about my childhood and about I think about summer, mm-hmm. it was like long days outside playing with her friends in the street, you know, just praying, having fun. I always want to give my daughter that. I'm like, oh my god, summer's coming. What am I gonna do? I need to like schedule all these activities to do with her because you it's feel summer. You want to do so much. I want to mm-hmm. do so much. So and um, I, I'm always like, okay, well it's summer. You can go to sleep a little later, or you know, you can have this thing that you don't usually have. Mm-hmm. You know, I want it. I don't know why. It's a thing that I have that I want to do like 
some summer means fun you know what i mean you feel pressured to do something outside of the norm yeah i just think that when we came here we lost that because our parents would work so much and you know we didn't really it didn't now it it yeah. away. <laughs> i don't know if it's but you know like uh when you grow up there's no difference between summer or winter or you know it's all the same you have the same responsibilities well so, what me growing up we always lived in apartments so it was always almost like a like everybody in the apartment complex was like family so all the kids were running around outside and in yeah. the summer in the summer right. so you know everybody was you know you had all these hundreds of friends that all lived in the apartment complex and you know we don't live in an apartment anymore and now you know i feel like i'm um i am my son's missing out on that yeah on that relationship with That's the neighbors and just being out till you know 7 p.m mm-hmm. 8 p.m uh with his friends and like now i'm just like you can't cross the line of this pavement <laughs> right <laughs> you know what i mean <laughs> And it's like you're boxing like yeah no, you cannot go outside you Don't can't touch anybody you can't touch the sidewalk <laughs> the minute you touch the sidewalk you know the alarm's gonna go off and i'm gonna go crazy on you i know i know, you know and mean. i feel like i'm depriving him yeah from that awesome childhood but i'm also you know as a mother i'm like in fear because i hear all these stories of you know children getting kidnapped and children getting hit by a car and the chance of it happening are very 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 low, very low. but i can't help but feel that way so I have them like in a box and you know, and that's something that I have to work yeah. on my, with myself because it's just not healthy. Um, and, but I talk to other mothers and they're like, you know, I feel the same way. It's just, it's you know, I grew up being on, you know, five years old, going up and down the street in my bike with my neighbors mm-hmm. and I wouldn't come home. There was no cell phones back then. No. There was no way for your mother. Well, I don't know what I think about that. Like here's my kid just goes out, but they were older. Your kid's only like, how old is your kid? He's four. He's four. You're but I remember at age four or five, four. Hanging out with yeah, the neighbors. We oh, we did. We did. I actually recently uh, heard a piece on the radio about that, um, how it's changed. You know, they did a study on parents, how they used to live. And the kids of those parents, uh, the range of like distance that they let their kids go. It's so minimal it's now. It's so minimal because of everything you hear on the media and everything. Yeah. It's and they were saying like nowadays the crime has... The crime rate is it's so low, low but you don't see it that way because there's all these things on the internet and on tv all and this everything. information telling you this is yeah. what happened yesterday yeah you're constantly happened. getting like those amber alerts yeah. you're constantly that getting those amber sudden, alerts yeah i think it's i mean it really is a lamp amber alerts which is they're great i mean they're great they they're, they're great to have those but it's like you're in a place and all of a sudden everyone's amber alert goes out mm-hmm. and it's like oh my god a child is missing yeah. where's my kid where's mm-hmm. my kid you is know? that and fear you're just like oh my god where are they or you log on to facebook and there's three uh, posts from you know a missing child <laughs> or a child getting hit by a bus and it's also or easy and it's also like now there's so much more to entertain them at home like you know they're just like bombarded with like I, I iphones know, and bad. screens it's and so iPads. easy to just hand them the ipad yeah, yeah. it's just mm-hmm. like here stay easy. home you don't want to go outside yeah yeah just and then that, that's what I'm thinking behind like well summer I'm gonna let her out a little bit more you know it, I don't know it's just it's hard nowadays it's hard to just it's hard to want for them to be free but at the same time you want to control them like you want to put a you range wanna, around them you, know you want to like, ensure their safety well that's how you hold so many play dates I think but, you know. that's why you know we were talking about play dates and like how I would I I would prefer have a play date every week at my house so she can play with other mm-hmm. kids. At your house. At my house. <laughs> exactly. So because, still, you know, because, she's still even yeah. more protected. <laughs> Did your mom ever let you sleep o- o- over? Oh, no. Time? Never, Me right? Never. It's a Latino thing, right? Oh, no, yeah. I mean. Never. She co- me les, what would she say? Pri- uh, ya tienes aquí cama para que te vas a, a, yeah. allá con ellos or something like that. Uh, yeah. Oh, no, mom. I didn't have my first sleepover until I was in college. Yeah, probably me too. Yeah, mm-hmm. like me too. The, and that's only because I moved away because mm. I was like I went off to college and until then I <laughs> slept in my home every yeah. single day yeah. ¿Qué no tienes moment? casa? Okay. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. ¿Qué no tienes casa? ¿Para qué quieres ser la casa uh-huh. de la gente? And uh-huh. I'm like Exactly okay. but in the, And so now I have that thing and I'm like no You know they've been telling me like parents at, at the school they're like oh you know can she come can she sleep over and I'm like No I don't know how to say no without sounding like like a freak you know because they're like well my, you know i don't mind if my daughter goes to your house and i'm like um no she's still not ready like you know <laughs> like she's not ready but i we're not ready my husband's like no way like she's not going anywhere you i know? can't imagine uh 
letting my son sleep over ever <laughs> not even at age 30 <laughs> I'm like, I mean, you're maybe here, like you're a, staying here with mommy yeah, yeah like I'm, like even at my mom's house yeah such a latina thing to do oh yeah see there my mom yeah uh, or your of sister's course. house of course maybe uh, you know. but in, in my neighbor, sister's house maybe if there's no one coming over yeah like who's gonna be there yeah like, who's gonna watch them you know and like, again it comes down from here you know the chances that something may happen are very very rare and low but things do happen yeah. You, that you can't deny. You can't. So if you can avoid it as a parent, you're going to avoid it. I know. It's better to be safe than sorry, I say. <sighs> I it's hard. It's hard, man. I don't know. Again, I'm, I have a three-month-old. I mean, like, I'm new. I'm a new mom. Like, my baby's still, you know, he goes to bed at a certain time. He wakes up at a certain time. I He's not even teething kid. yet, so. Baby's not even teething. Like, I, I'm, I'm all like, I'm like that you mom. You still have it so easy she's like, right this now. Is, this is so easy. I'm still like that mom right now that I'm like, oh. See, you're, you're, you're on the honeymoon stage Yeah, right like, my baby's sleeping through the night now, and he's so good, mm-hmm. and he's the best baby in the world. <laughs> I'm going to parenting classes, and I'm like, I already know what to do. You know what I mean? Like, I'm like that mom right now. <laughs> that like in a couple of months it's gonna hit the fan I'm gonna be like I don't know what I'm gonna do <laughs> oh, my yeah. kid's not sleeping anymore he doesn't want to eat anymore <laughs> <laughs> so okay so how, so what's your trick to putting your baby to bed I, you know I thought I had the, the, the perfect trick which was <laughs> you know dinner a, a nice warm bath and then a book and he'd knock out but as soon as he it was just became more aware that hit the fan <laughs> fast really? you know it's it's it has to be after 8.45 when the sun's completely down mm-hmm. because he will not go to sleep <laughs> if the, the sun's, sun's out. Because the sun wins. Yeah, the sun <laughs> wins. You against the sun, the sun's going to win. And, you know, I try to give him a bath, and sometimes I feel like he's falling asleep, and then he'll hear a noise somewhere, and he that goes out the window, and he's <laughs> up, running around. And I'm just like... <laughs> does he still nap? The five-year-old, four-year-old At school, still nap? he does. At school, yeah. Mm-hmm. But, I don't know how that's going to go when they stop he's not napping. at school... He won't nap. No. no. Why does that happen? I don't know. That's so unfair for us. It's so unfa- I don't know how teachers are put these children to sleep I d- because and, I can't. And, and and like not even like not just one. Oh, like but 30. like 10 yeah. or like 20 <laughs> kids at, yeah. at once. I've gone to my daughter's school at nap time. All They're sleeping. all quiet. All of them. Yeah, and I'm asleep. like, how the hell do you do this? Like, how do you do it? Like, really tell me. They're like, oh, you know. Krista's so good. She just grabs her <laughs> book. She reads on her own and she goes to sleep. I'm like, really? That little girl? Mm. Oh my because God. they Yo, see teachers. Yeah, me tiene I think they know, they, they know how to handle us. Yeah. You know, the they teacher, they, they still see them as authority. What, about, what, what are we? You know, but <laughs> with us, you know, we're authority, but they know how to manipulate us. You know, they, they know our, they have their they ways do. with us. They do. They do. So, so, you, so you try to, so what, so what, so at 8.45 until the sun goes down, that's when he's like, okay, mommy, I'm going to go to bed now because the sun, because the sun went down. Sometimes he'll come to me and tell me, mom, I'm tired. And I'm like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> so what did you do today? Tell me everything so we can do it again tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> but there's time when sometimes we're both lying in bed and I fall asleep. And next thing I know, he's like at 11 p.m. I'm ready to b- go to bed. And I'm like, I've been asleep for two hours. <laughs> does Wait, he so sleep what time on with you? Yeah, he does. He sleeps with me. And oh. So what time do you go to bed? Um, right now, because I'm pregnant, I'm really going to sleep at 10, 20, 10, 30, the latest. Fuck, and you wake up at 3, 45? Mm-hmm. But when I wasn't pregnant, um, I was going to bed. And I know I will probably continue doing this after I have the baby. Maybe twelve thirty. Wow! So, so I was only sleeping like three hours. What? Which I think is more than enough for me. Really? I, 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 I don't know. That's not more than for anybody. Not, that is not healthy. <laughs> but I feel I've told you that before. Like you need freaking sleep. I, and I take like twenty minute naps during the day or a ten minute nap, and I feel so good. But I can't sleep. My brain is working all the time. And you didn't even drink coffee. No, I can't drink coffee. It'll put me to sleep. Oh my god. Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> this is my friend Patty, everybody. <laughs> How's your pregnancy going? Oh, it's good right now, but the first three and a half months, I wanted to die. And you're having another boy. I'm having another boy. How does that feel for you? I'm so excited. Um, I wanted a girl. I'm not going to lie. And I literally thought I was going to have a girl. I r- thought I was going to have a girl so much that I went online and I b- bought her domain name. <laughs> <laughs> 
Of course, of Patty course you went did. to buy her domain. Of course, I mean, I mean you have that's to a do normal these thing. thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, yeah hello? of course, hello. <laughs> Everybody should be doing that. <laughs> I think you should. If you have, have you bought your baby's domain name? No, no. I've actually. You finished. need to do that. I have you? <laughs> no, I haven't. You need to do that. Okay. <laughs> it's 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 important. It's it's like your social security. You need it. You okay. may not that need it right. True. You may not that's need true. it right now. Nowadays, that no, is it's true. true. It's but true. nowadays, you need no, it. No, you're right. No, you're you right. are so right. Yes, and, and I'm I go online right now and bought my baby's name. <laughs> yeah, and I really thought I I'm like if my I, husband's name when we started dating. Well, good. You that's bought good. it. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. You know, if you can't find his name, then don't name him bad. Wow. Wow. Like that. Like that. Just don't name him bad. So did you find your baby's name? I, my baby's little name? girl's name, yeah. And I haven't bought my my other ones, my boy's name yet, but I will do that tonight. <laughs> <laughs> now that I remember. <laughs> To-do list. But to I did buy list. my son's, my first son's uh, website and not la- all variations of it, too. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. And I got him his email address and all his social media handles. Look at you, yeah. Patty Rodriguez. It's just, you, I, you know, you never you are know. You so right. You are so right. We we definitely. I think it's very important. It's like your credit score. Yeah, you're right. Mm-hmm. I never even thought about mm-hmm. that. Okay, tonight I'm gonna. I <laughs> after <will>. this, I'm <laughs> gonna go online. I'm gonna. You have a good one because you have like Sabi, you know, Sabina Sabeth, y este Krista Sani. <laughs> you know, like very you know very unique names. That I'm sure you won't have a problem finding or uh-huh. getting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but I think it's very important. I mean, whether he want to use it or not. I th- you know I think the way we're going it's it's very important you know it's he doesn't have to be a celebrity he doesn't have to be a public no, figure no of course but you need it for you're right it's like a social security I never thought about that before everyone the you know you're looking for a job you're in you know the the company whoever's gonna hire you they're gonna go search your name that's true and the first thing you want is you know positive image of yourself and it starts with your website that's so you're good. having a, a better so do you feel better now. I oh, I feel so much better. Are you craving anything? Um, not Besides r- tacos, this is regular stuff. Not really. Um, I know with your first you? one. I yeah. know with your first one, you had it like it was also like for the first six months. It yeah? was a fr- I had a morning sickness for the first six so months. So did with I with my first boy. It was bad. Do you have any tips for our mamas out there? Because you know a lot of us go. Well, I didn't go through that, but I know my sister did. But I know had the like. She ha- like just like glowing from the beginning. She was pregnant. Like, I can't. Well, believe actually, this. like um, the first pregnancy, the second one, yes, I felt good, but like my hormones were all over the place. Like I literally her proof was husband emotional. got the worst of it. No, yeah, it was super emotional. Like I actually walked out of my walked out of my husband like three times. I would call <laughs> Gracie. I remember like I was yeah. like I'm leaving him now, and she was like why? I was like. <gasps> I don't know, but I'm leaving him. Like, I'm tired of him. You know, I did. I grabbed my daughter, my things, and I walked out, like, three times. I mean, he's... It's okay. It happened. <laughs> yeah. That's things, you, yeah, know, yeah, are, yeah. you know, your partner Sometimes, has to deal with. You know what? Sometimes, you know, we... Because, like, we were always like, you don't understand, but... I was thinking about it, and I was like, I don't know who's got it worse. Like, me... Uh, I mean, obviously, probably us, because we carry a child for nine yeah. months. But I'm like, them to put up with us? Oof. I mean, like, my poor husband, I was like... oh. Like, you had to put up with me for nine months. And I was like, <laughs> I mean, like, you were. I was really you bad. Were. Like, you I was were. really bad the first six months. Like, you don't want anyone to touch you. No, 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 talk to, t- you, no, talk to you, feel irritated. Yeah. I want to like, drop it's everything. It's, well, I, I was pregnant during, I, I, if I was, to, I want to, you know what? I want to get pregnant again. Like, <laughs> like I want to be pregnant right now. <laughs> Oh, I okay, can't. Eduardo. <laughs> well, I can't. I can't because of something that happened to me when I gave birth. But if it wasn't for that, I totally would have talked to my husband. Like, we should have a baby right now. Uh, that's mean, a little crazy. <laughs> I know. And he's like, and that's he looks at me. He's like, what? I'm like, you know, like I want another baby. And I would. I never even thought. I mean, I think at some point I was like, I only want one baby. She did say that. I was like, I only want one. Like. I don't want to love, especially when we, oh, I only had him, and I'm sure you have this feeling too. Like, am I gonna love another baby as much as I love this one? I think that about that every single day. Can I say? Can I say something about that? I felt exactly the same way. I cried so much by because myself. you have two, you have yeah, two girls, I cried and so you're gonna much. get two boys. I cried you know? so much, and I was like, I, I was like, I'm so sorry. Like, I was talking to my baby. I was like, I'm so sorry. To your I baby, you were talking to your own baby. I was talking to my baby, and I was like, I'm sorry, I don't love you right now but i promise you that as soon as you're here i'm gonna like devote myself to you because i couldn't i was like how can i love 
this mm-hmm. child more like that I love my daughter and I was like I can't it's impossible and I would feel so bad and I was like I'm so sorry but I promise you I promise you as soon as you're here mommy will be yours and does it happen oh my god immediately <laughs> you're like please immediately you know I worry about that you know immediately because I love my son with everything that oh yeah with my whole being i can imagine i mean, I mean it I hurts it the hurts much, the amount it hurts of love how much that i have them. for him literally is physically painful it, it is it is your heart just gets like when you see them and you see how much you love them your heart clenches and it, it's almost it's almost like borderline like it, it's painful <laughs> it is you're just like it's but it happens and like and this, like this morning, actually, I was in, I, I, I went in, I go in my sister, my daughter's room to wake her up every morning and I lay down with Sabina and both of them. And I had both of them right next to me and I, you know, I turn around, I, I hug Grista and I'm like, oh, you know, good morning. And then I turn around and I kiss Sabina and I'm like, I love them exactly the same. Like there's nothing. Well, you know, you ask me which one's my favorite, depending on the time of day. You know, if, if one's crying, the other one's my but favorite. But, you know, I, I talk to some moms and they say there's a different connection with each one. There is. And there's a different love with each one. And the, do you feel that as soon the as they're born? Or do yeah, you feel I, that? No, I felt that immediately. And it's different because they're different. Mm-hmm. Because I always felt like they were going to be the same, but they're completely different. different Their temperament people. are, yeah. And, and it's so funny because they're both yours, but they're so different from e- each other. Mm-hmm. But... And that's why you love them because they're all, they're both each the same per- their their own person. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Chris is very sweet. Sabina's very like, I don't know. Matter I'm not going to say fact. demanding. Yeah. Ma- you know, she's like very serious, but I love her because she's that. I love Chris because she's sweet. I love her because of this. I love her because of it. Like you will. It's, it's, I always told my best friend the same thing. I was like, did you love, you know, the baby? And she was like, dude, I felt the same way. And I think we all feel the same way. But once you see them, it's gone. And I I mean, also one thing that I questioned too is how is he going to (laughs) look? You know, like... Exactly I, like, like your is he gonna one. look just like my first one? Yes. Or, I can't imagine having another child and not look exactly like my first one. Because in your head, that's all you like think. That's about all, all I, know. I know. You that's know. All you and know. I, and well, what did you think, Alexander? Was do you remember giving birth to Alexander still? Uh, yeah, I do. It was really painful. And uh, when I had Alexander, I thought he was gonna come out um, with blonde hair and hazel green eyes like his father, but he didn't. He got more of my genes. I know, but when he came out and you saw him, you're like, whoa, like, this is not what I thought you'd look like. Or what was the first thing you noticed God, about your kid? God, I don't even, I was, it was just this. Because mine's so recent. When he came out, the first thing I was like, your ears are so big. Yeah, the first <laughs> thing that I said was like, his head looks like a cone head. Because <laughs> it was like long and oval. And my baby's head was like a, like a rectangle. <laughs> Which, I mean, my face is pretty rectangular. Uh-huh. So... When he came out, he had, like, a rectangular face, and he had, like, big ears, and he had a little chin. And mm. I was like, what who are you? <laughs> <laughs> they look like little aliens. I know. I mean, it's... Oh, no, uh, when you first see them, they're so cute. But, like, now when I see a photo of him when, um, now, like, four years later, I'm like, you look like a little alien. Right? Yeah. I mean, that's what I was saying my sister the other day. I was look just like, cute. Yeah. You, like uh, you know, you see your kids. I'm like, oh, my God, he's so beautiful. But then I look back at the picture. I'm like, ooh, <laughs> like, what happened? Like, why did I take this picture? Why <laughs> yeah. did I put it on Facebook but and I thought like you were the, the cutest mother, thing. It's like the Why <laughs> did I post this? Exactly. Yeah, right? Exactly. I, I know, it's I like know. other parents are going to be like, your kid is not that cute. And I'm sure like, you know, <laughs> y- you get those those reactions from people. Um, Who cares? But, but it's, it all comes down to, you know, the psychology of a mother. You know, it's it's the mother's love. You're blinded oh, yeah. by this love. You are. You're totally blinded. You're by blinded it. by it. I mean, sometimes a little too blinded. Not, sometimes yeah. some parents are <laughs> a little too blinded. You know, you're so blinded by it that even... And now look back, his poop will smell sweet to me. <laughs> yeah. You know, yesterday my baby's poop smelled like coffee. And I got worried. I was like, am I drinking too much coffee? I mean, I'm drinking a, a cup a day, which is uh, more than I could handle anyway. You were probably craving coffee. But I, I, I was, <laughs> and I, I put it up to my nose. <laughs> and I was you don't like, mind it at all. And I was like, oh, no, you don't mind no. it. You don't mind it. You don't. I would eat it if they asked me to at that time. Yeah. It's, yeah. Yes, I would. Yeah. So crazy. It's crazy. And before I was a mm-hmm. mom, if I would hear that, I'd be like, what wow, the hell is so wrong gross. with the guys? And it's so funny because even if you have a baby, if you change another baby's diaper, you're like, Ugh. You don't even want to touch you it. You don't want, you're like, oh my God, it smells so bad. But it's your baby's and like, ah, it's fine. You it's know, it's a sorry. sweet <laughs> smell. It's like, you don't even mind if it gets all over your hand you or if they squirt in your Girl, face. at some point I had poop. I had milk. <laughs> I had throw up. 
<laughs> I, and then all of a sudden, I he peed on me. And, and it doesn't smell bad. No, but I had every part, every like every fluid, okay. every fluid, no, and I was bleeding because I had just given birth, you <sighs> know, and I was still bleeding because you bleed for. That's a great visual. I mean, like mm-hmm. all that, <laughs> all of that. But like you see them and they smile oh, and you're like, yeah. I love you. No, it's the uh, pee, it's me, pee on me again. Mm-hmm. Please, <laughs> you don't. It doesn't bother you. It doesn't affect you. You're not grossed no. out by it. It's just God's way of. So when are you due? I'm doing December. Aww. So is there any a couple of things? Um, we're is there any a couple of things or any things that you would tell somebody? Okay, you need like your three must have things that you're like. I'm definitely buying these three things. As a month of like a, a for you for newborn. I would say I love Aiden and Anne blankets. Oh, They're yeah. the swaddle blanket, yes. and I love that Me brand, too. Aiden and Anne. That's a must have. So you're gonna get swaddle blankets from that. Yeah, I love That's swaddle. like your must have. Yeah. Another must have. Must have would be uh, the Honest Company bubble bath. Oh, okay. I love that. Mm-hmm. She loves that. I love that. Mm-hmm. I love that. And but don't but the bubble bath is more they get older, no? Well, I mean the bath. Like, yeah, uh, let me refer- let me uh, clarify then the, uh, the 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 body wash. The bo- the yeah. shampoo and shampoo body and wash body slash wash. body yes. wash. And I use that for my baby right now. I learned this the hard way. Um, some sort of, I mean, when uh, my son got burned with desitin. What? what? Yeah. It burned his skin off. <gasps> like, it literally peeled it off. Oh, no my way. God. And at first, I thought it was a diaper rash. So, I put on even more <gasps> desitin. Oh. And then a few days later, I just see that it, w- it just peeled it off. It burned his skin. Oh, my God. Oh, so, so never again. Both of you. Me, it did not work for me. Never again. And instead, uh, we went with Monkey Butt. That's the brand. Okay, Monkey, Monkey Butt. Butt. Yeah, it's a pink uh, pink diaper. But I think I'm, I'm, I'm looking into the Honest Company uh, uh, diaper rash cream, too, mm-hmm. which I never used with Alexander. But I'm looking into that one. With the new I baby. use that one. Mm-hmm. Well, I I have like a combination. <laughs> Paulina, what are what are your three must have things for new moms? Like like if you were to, I mean, obviously when you register, it's a whole other list. Yeah. But like three things, like if you could take, I mean, like three things with Sabina, because I mean she's I mean she's nine months, but you still remember like three things that you three like. Ma- three things. Um. Def- I mean, uh, my favorite uh, brand for diaper to prevent diaper rash because that's like really hard on moms. Um, I love Mother's Love. Oh, that's a great brand. Mother's that's Love, a great one. That's I use that one. I love mm-hmm. it. Um, Mother's Love uh, diaper rash cream. Um, I love. I love the. I prefer going with um, the Pamper brand of the diapers. Mm-hmm. The Pampers they have worked great for me. I think um, it, they're great with my baby skin um and the other thing that i would say same as her the the swaddle blankets mm-hmm. they're amazing like they they have grip they have good they grip. have a grip and they last really long my son to this day still has his yeah and they're his it's his safety blanket he won't go to sleep without it we have like five that we rotate and he still sleeps with them he goes he gets in the car with them Whenever he feels like stressed out, he go he goes and gets it and kind of plays around with it. He'll suits, like suits him. Yeah, it's his soothing blanket. Mm-hmm. I never did that, you know what I mean? And I and you know I never did that with the security thing. And now my daughter is almost four, and I I was mentioning like two two time two weeks ago that she was anxious. Uh huh. And somebody told me it's not too late to give her a security blanket, uh-huh. and I started doing that, and it's helped her a lot. It's so, so crazy. I would, oh, yeah, it's crazy. I would really recommend. Um, I didn't believe, you know, we're Mexicans. We don't believe in that. Yeah. Um, but somebody told me, do that. You know, they, they it it's helps a stress them. Reliever. It's a stress reliever. And I've been giving it to her. And she starts biting on it. And she starts playing with it. And she calms down. Yeah, I never. Be- Is it stop for her biting her nails? Because yeah. she's biting her nails. I never believed mm-hmm. in that what? stuff. Never. And I, I never believed in that either. It was like security blanket. That's like a novelty, you know. Yeah. But. And my intention was never to give, to create a safety blanket with my That's, son. That was my idea, It too. just happened. Mm-hmm. He, the swaddle blankets were there. It was the blanket that I was always use, uh, it, that I always use for him. But as, as they grew older, I never took it away from him. And it's, it's, it's his security blanket. And it's like, um, like, let's say your baby's age, you just put it next to him. You just put it next to him and it starts getting I used mean, right to now it. I'm still freaked out about him grabbing something and putting it against his, like, 
face and suffocating. Like I'm like I'm so freaked I think, out. I don't think he's. You know too what young. I give him? I give him that um that uh, Sophie soother. Like it's like um. It's got a pacifier on the top, mm-hmm. and then oh, yeah. it's like the a little, little. Yeah, that one too. That one works. He really whatever. likes that one. Whatever like he they grabs do, at whatever. six months is yeah. when I. Um, my baby's three and a half. Yeah, at six months, my aunt was noticing that he would fidget with his hands when he was stressed out. Mm-hmm. So she started giving him the blank, like hand him the blanket, and then he'd get like play with like like a little like hand motion, and it just it just never stopped. And to this day, um, when he's drinking his milk because he drinks milk before he goes to bed. He'll grab the blanket and still make that soothing uh, motion with his hand in the blanket. It helps them soothe, oh. soothe themselves. Yeah. yeah, and yeah. and you know I never did that with my with my daughter because I was like, nah, that's not my thing. You know, I don't I don't want her to get attached to something. And then, but um, I started giving it to her because she's becoming very anxious and it's working. Mm-hmm. It's working. You know, um, Jackie told me about it. My best friend. She was like, just give her the the blanket or give her a blanket. Give her something for her to soothe on. And I started doing that, and, and, and it's working. And, you know, it's great. You have good. a little baby. You do. Baby. He's, a, he's a newborn. <laughs> I know. I'm but telling you, you I'm still like in the honeymoon. So I'm still in the honeymoon stage. I'm like, you oh, still I'm are. Honeymoon. And you're going to be in the honeymoon stage forever. I think <laughs> I'm still am, even though sometimes I'm just like, ah, Alexander. <laughs> you know, it gets me frustrated. I just want you to get in the, in the you know, in the bath. I or, or I want you to eat do, this. Does you guys take showers? Huh? Does he like to take showers? No, he likes. T- I still give him a bath. But does he like? Does he I like it? Like oh, it depends on the time. You know, it depends. Right now, he's on that stage that he doesn't want any shampoo on his head because oh he gets my in his god! Eyes. Oh, thank God, I'm not alone. I thought I was like. So I found a trick. <laughs> what did trick? you do? Tell me. I tell him to look up, <laughs> and I just pour like I cover you know his forehead with my hand so no no water gets in his eyes, and then I quickly scrub it because they're not dirty. You know, they're not. They're, they're not. not dirty, but you know they. You just want them to be clean. So I quickly scrub it Well, he's, you know, playing with the water. And then I tell him to look up and I, I'm just, you know, I, the, the sham- baby shampoo <laughs> gets rinsed out so quickly yeah. that, you know, just with like a little like bucket. Well, because you have a boy. See, my, my daughter has, has long, long hair. hair. So it's like, it takes me a little longer. She's like, mama, stop putting that. You know, she's like, I hate it. <laughs> and like, um, and you know, my daughter is like a little, like, she's like a boy, man. Mm-hmm. She loves to get dirty in the mud and everything. So she is dirty. So I'm like, I have to wash your face. And it's crying every single day. She cries. Because you're putting water in her face. She hates that. Oh, but my God. I have so much to look it. forward to. Yeah. And here I am wanting another one. <laughs> well, thank you so much for coming, Patty. Well, thank you guys for having me. I'm very excited. I was. I mean, I feel like awesome. we could, like, talk to you forever. Like, we can have an entire other show about everything that you <laughs> well, do. Well, I would love to and, come back again. And, you know, between you being pregnant and, like, what are you doing to, like, you know, for your pregnancy symptoms and your baby and all your companies that you, you know, that you have and still make it work as a mom I'm a big fan of yours. Yeah. I love you Thank so you. much. Thank you. I'm a big fan of you guys, too. Ins- oh <laughs> you're such you an are. inspiration. Thank you. Um, and I just, it's just so wonderful to not just see a woman, a Latina, a mom, like all of these things who doesn't, it's, doesn't let anything stop her and just go out and chase your dream. And I, and, I, and I feel like people need to hear that message more and more. Hashtag sin miedo. Hashtag sin miedo. <laughs> um, anything, um, so what? where can we find you? How can we reach you? How can anybody get in contact with you? Um, through Instagram, Twitter. Uh, the ha- my, um, my handle is Patty Rodriguez. That's the best way. I'm always, you know, I, I read everybody's comments. I try my best to always respond to everybody. Sometimes it gets a little hard, you know, but I try my best. And that's, that's the best way. Mm-hmm. And, and I do want to say you. Oh. thank you for the selena lipstick yes. how excited is everybody I'm about getting their, their um, lipstick it's really <laughs> uh, that's one of the things that i have yet to wrap my head around <laughs> right that you made that happen i mean i don't want to say that you started uh, a petition online well, to have people I, to like i'll like, quickly say this is something that i've been working on with um we're trying to push uh uh for mac to do since 2013. Wow. So it was it was um I'll, I'll quickly say this. I emailed the c- president of the company back in 2013. It was a few emails going back and forth. And I explained to them who she, Selena is, what she means to the community, and what she You didn't pres- know who Selena was? Um, well, I, I went in them. Oh, I went in thinking they didn't. So I explained, oh, okay. you know, oh, in okay, detail who she was. Yeah. Because it's always best to, you know, give them the information they need. Right. And 
what she means to the community, what she means, you know, her music means now, which is, I think, it's a, it's, it's a lot more powerful now than when she was alive. Definitely. And that was in 2013. Left it alone. And then I got the itch again this year after I saw a photoshopped image created by a makeup artist on Instagram of a MAC lipstick with Selena's logo. Mm-hmm. And that's when I said, this needs to happen. And, you made it happen. and that's when I created the petition because I, my, I always think outside the box. And I don't, I don't go b- about doing things the conventional way. And um, the worst thing that would have happened is Mac not doing this. That's you know, the worst like, thing that would have happened. You know happened. what? I love that you <laughs> keep happened. saying that. It's like the worst thing that could have happened is I don't have a published house. The worst thing that could have happened is I don't have it. And I already don't. And the worst thing that could have happened was not having the makeup, which it, we don't have right now. So yeah. The worst thing that could happen is you not doing it. Exactly. But the best thing that happened was that the Julia Ryan did happen. Mm-hmm. And your book publishing company did happen. And the makeup is happening. Mm-hmm. And there's so much, there's so many more things that you're going to keep making happen that I just cannot wait for it to make it happen. And I've always years. lived my life that way. And it's like, just close your eyes and jump. And dream. Mm-hmm. And what a beautiful way to say goodbye to everybody. Mm-hmm. Check out uh, Patty Rodriguez. Follow her on Instagram. And yes, best Instagram ever. Thank you ever. so much oh, for coming. Oh my for God. Me. Like, I think we had like, we dream big, Bricia, and we, we had her. We had her. Ha- <laughs> oh, we please have have miedo. Had we asked, and she's Patty here. Rodriguess. I love you, Patty. I love Thank you, guys you so too. much, okay, Patty. Thank you. you for being Super here. Super Mamas, we're flying off into the sky with our beautiful magic capes and our 800 children. <laughs> <laughs> Salud. Bye.